It's that time of the year again in Formula One where the Monaco debate returns. Many F1 fans have become divided about Monaco and if it is boring and if it deserves to stay on the calendar. Now, I get it. Monaco, it's not a great track for overtaking, okay? I'm not going to deny that. If I was to sit here and say Monaco is absolutely fine, there's nothing wrong with it at all, the overtaking is good enough, I would be being dishonest. But for me, the Monaco Grand Prix goes way beyond overtaking and it is much more important than that. I feel like I'm making this video every year just to put my opinion out there because the debate heats up and becomes a big subject every time the Monaco Grand Prix comes around. The Monaco Grand Prix is the race that I look forward to the most every year. It just is. I am so highly anticipating the Monaco Grand Prix knowing that there's probably not going to be many overtakes. All right, I know that. I have that in mind. But for some reason, Monaco just excites me so much more than any other race. Monaco is simply the best qualifying session of the year. For me, it is the most exciting, it is the most sort of nerve-wracking. There is such little margin for error, and I feel like we are seeing the drivers at their best, where they are absolutely the most locked in and concentrated, trying to get that perfect lap, trying to get as close to the barriers as they possibly can. For me, that is so unique, especially in a sport like Formula One. There is no other circuit in the world anywhere like Monaco. There can be tracks that are similar to Monaco. There might be tracks that have very narrow sections like Monaco, but it is not Monaco, and that is what makes it great. I know that I have a lot of nostalgic value for Monaco. It's been a race that I've loved a lot since I was a kid. I was very fascinated at the idea that Formula One cars with V10 engines were screaming around this street circuit and somehow not every single driver crashed. I just couldn't understand it when I was a kid. For me, it was, it was just crazy. For me, Monaco is where the superheroes were made for me when I was a kid, and I think that it is a fantastic event, a great momentous event for Formula One, and a piece of history and a piece of heritage that is important to our sport, and I think should remain on the calendar forever. We talk a lot about these new tracks coming into Formula One and how they're so boring and all very similar and they're just not interesting. I think it's important that we keep tracks like Monaco around. People hate seeing these days new tracks come in. Look at all the controversy surrounding the Las Vegas Grand Prix. So many people are against it. I personally am not. I've been wanting to go to Vegas for a very long time. So if we have a historic racing venue like Monaco, a piece of history, a piece of nostalgia, shouldn't it remain in the sport to remind us about the foundations of Formula One? What Formula One is all about, the history, the legends that have won there, the records that stand, the incredible moments. Think of Ayrton Senna being the king of Monaco. Think of him out qualifying his teammate Alain Prost at arguably the hardest racetrack on the calendar by one and a half seconds. These are the memories that come to my head when it is time for the Monaco Grand Prix. I think it truly represents the history of Formula One, the greatness of Formula One. What put Formula One on the map are places like Monaco, where memories are forged into our brains. I personally just don't like the idea of getting rid of Monaco because it's boring. And some people will say, well, I don't want to keep Monaco simply because of its history. And to that, I'd say fair enough. But my advice would be to look beyond the history. Look at what Monaco represents for Formula One. Look at how much it means to drivers. It is the race they want to win the most. It is the most prestigious race you can possibly win in motorsport, arguably. Monaco is a very special racing location, and I agree that maybe there could be some changes made to the circuit to make it better. But again, I feel like we need to leave Monaco how it is. I think if there's one thing in Formula One that we just need to keep the same and keep traditional, I really think Monaco should be protected, and I want to get more fans on board with this idea. Now, I know I am a bit of an old schooler, a bit of an old school F1 fan, you know, I've been watching this sport for over 20 years. And, you know, I understand that this might not be a race that has a lot of nostalgic value to other people, maybe newer fans. And, you know, I get that. 
but try and understand the meaning and the significance of Monaco. Think of it as a heritage round. That's how I think of it now. Think of it as an old school round. And yes, you know, no one likes boring races, okay? I get it. We all want fast, fierce battles every weekend if possible. But the reality of that is simply just not possible. And I think that if you have the opinion that every race should be a certified banger, you are destined for disappointment. You're not going to be satisfied because that simply just isn't going to happen. You're never gonna have banger after banger after banger after banger after banger of F1 race. Sure, we've had some incredible seasons in the past, but not every single race was a certified classic. I think Monaco is just what Formula One really represents from when it started till now. It really shows what drivers are capable of. It really shows how good they are at what they do and how robotic they almost look navigating that track. Just think of the qualifying session we're about to see. And I know sometimes they are ruined by red flags, but I think maybe even we could implement a special rule for Monaco if a crash like that happens and kind of ruins someone's perfect pole lap. But Monaco is so exciting. Every qualifying session, every qualifying lap is just a pleasure and a great, great thing to watch. And I just want to keep seeing it every year. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and hit subscribe. It would really help me out. As always, I really appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one.